In this video, DHT22 sensor is interfaced with 80 Mega 8 microcontroller and programmed in C to display temperature and humidity on MAX7219 display. DHT22 sensor is interfaced with a microcontroller using a one wire serial data line. The microcontroller sends a start signal to the sensor and the sensor acknowledges with a response signal and then the sensor will send a 40-bit data which contains the 16-bit temperature value and 16-bit humidity value. Over the serial data line the microcontrol will send a start signal which is one millisecond wide and then the sensor will acknowledge with a response signal first it will send a low pulse 80 microsecond and then a high pulse of 80 microseconds. Next, the sensor will send the 40-bit data where the ones and zeros are encoded in the width of the high pulse. Preceding the high pulse, we will have a low pulse of 50 microseconds and then the high pulse. If the high pulse is 26 microseconds, this is a logic zero. And if the high pulse is 70 microseconds, it's a logic one. To summarize using the timing diagram, the microcontroller sends a start signal and the sensor acknowledges with a response signal and then the sensor will send the 40-bit data. The first byte is the humidity high byte, the second is the humidity low byte, the third is the temperature high byte, the fourth is the temperature low byte and the last byte is the checksum byte. Temperature read from the sensor is a 16-bit value where the most significant bit of the high byte is the sign bit. Zero means positive temperature, one means negative temperature. The remaining 15 bits represent the value which is 10 times the actual value. In a similar way we have a 16-bit humidity value which is again 10 times the actual value. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the MAX7219 display interface with the 80 Mega 8 microcontroller using SPI connection. And we have the DHT22 sensor interface to a digital pin of the controller. Programming DHT22 sensor is similar to programming DHT11 sensor. You can watch my tutorial where I program DHT11 using assembly code. A link to that tutorial is available in the video description. DHT22 sensor and MAX7219 display were programmed from scratch where no libraries were used. Let's have a quick look at the C code. Inside the code, the first thing we include this header file which will contain the, the characters that can be displayed on the module. So here we have the letters that can be displayed and the numerals from 0 to 9. Inside the setup function, we call this function to initialize the MAX7219 display. Inside function maximum to one nine initialization, we set the SPI pins, MOSI, serial clock, and SS as output, and then we program the control register of the SPI so that we have SPI as master. Next, we call function max seven two one nine write and send two bytes. The first byte is the command byte, and the second byte is the data byte, and this would put the intensity level of the display at eight and then we send the next two bytes so that the decoding is off and then the next two bytes will put the scan limit to eight digits and then we send the next two bytes so that we turn on the MAX7219 display. Inside function MAX7219 write we receive two bytes the command byte and the data byte and then we pull the SS line low so that we enable the MAX7219 and then we send the command byte via the data register of the SPI 
and then we wait for the transmission to end and then we send the data byte via the data register and then we wait for the end of transmission and then we pull the SS line high so that we disable the back 7219 back inside the setup function and after we initialize the max 7219 we call this function to clear the display inside function clear display we use a for loop that will loop eight times so that we clear the eight digits of the max 7219 back inside the setup function and after we clear the display we call this function so that we can display the text DHT22 inside function display title we display the text DHT22 back inside the setup function and after we display the title we clear the display and then we send to the max7219 the command byte and the data byte needed to turn on the decoding mode and then we display on digits 1 and 5 the letter C and H. Inside the loop function we begin by sending the start signal. Inside function start signal we set the pin PB0 as output which is the data line of the DHT22 and then we send a low pulse for 1 millisecond and then send a high pulse for 40 microseconds back inside the loop function and after we send the start signal we call this function and receive the response from the sensor inside function response signal we set pin PB0 as input and then we wait for the low pulse and then we wait for the high pulse and then we wait again for the low pulse after receiving the response signal we read the high and low bytes of humidity and then the high and low bytes of temperature and then we read the checksum byte next we use this logical expression to get the 16-bit humidity value from the high and low bytes in a similar way we use this expression to get the 16-bit temperature value from the high and low bytes next we display the most significant digit of temperature and then display the mid digit with the decimal point and then display the least significant digit of temperature in a similar way we display the most significant digit of humidity mid digit with decimal point and then the least significant digit more projects relating to 80 mega 8 microcontroller will be presented in future videos such as interfacing DS3231 real-time clock